Yo, I'm just a chill guy. No stress, no rush, just vibes. Life is too short to overthink, so I just let it flow. Hello everyone. In the previous video, I showed you how to rig a character using vector shapes. But today, I'm going to show you how to rig a character using a PNG image in Moho. So let's get started. First, right click on the PNG image, scroll down to open with and select Photoshop. Once you are in Photoshop, go to layer and click the lock icon to unlock the layer. Then go to eraser tool, right click and choose magic eraser tool. Just click on the white area to remove the background. Now the image is transparent, create a new layer and choose paint bucket tool, choose the white color and paint on the new layer then drag the background layer under the character layer. Now select the character layer, navigate to lasso tool and draw around the arm. Then press Ctrl and J to duplicate the selected area. As you now can see, we have an arm with a new layer. With the arm layer selected, go to eraser tool, right click to change the scale and remove the extra parts. Go to Edit and come down and click on Puppet Warp using pins to make the arm straight. Once you are done, click on Thick to confirm. Select the brush tool and pick black color. I am going to fill some gaps here. Now press Ctrl plus J to duplicate another layer. Press Ctrl and T to enable free transform, then set negative 100 at width to flip the new arm over. Go to brush tool again in color panel. Pick the reference color on the arm. Now draw over the black line to remove them. Try to add another different line. With the main body layer selected, go to brush tool and pick the reference color on the chest. Paint over the line. Go to eraser tool and remove the arms and shape it as a stomach. Now, draw a new stroke on the stomach. Let me relocate the arms on the body. Move the right arm under the body layer. Now, let's work on the legs. Keep doing the same process as we did earlier. My drawing might not look perfect, as I'm not using a drawing tablet, just a mouse. So, it takes a bit more time. Now let me check if this right leg is ready for rotation animation. Not too bad. I am going to move on the next leg.
Now let's move on to the head. With the main body layer selected, using lasso tool and draw around the head, then press Ctrl J to duplicate the selected area. Now we have the head in a new layer. Remove the head area on the main body and remove the neck area on the head layer as well. Now, let me remove the background layer as we don't need it anymore. Just select and press delete key. Let's separate the food in a new layer. Go to lasso tool with the right leg layer selected. Draw around the food area, then press Ctrl X to cut and Ctrl V to paste it in a new layer. Now we have the right foot in a new layer. Back to the right leg layer and fill the missing part. I am going to fill the missing part on the foot layer as well. Let me name all these layers now. Make a new layer under the right foot layer. Go to lasso tool and draw a shape like this. And with the paint bucket tool, pick the reference color on the shoe and fill it up. Press Ctrl D to deselect. Select the layer underneath, then press Shift and select the foot layer. With these two layers are selected, Press Ctrl E to merge them into one layer and add some more stroke right over here. Then drag the right foot layer under the right leg layer. I will do the same for the left leg and foot as well. Finally, we have a character divided into several body parts on different layers. It's now ready to be imported and rigged in Moho. Now, let's save the file. Make sure to save it in PSD format. Just select the character PSD file we just created and drag it onto Moho. Now you will see the options. Choose individually. Now we have the character in Moho in different layers. Let's create a new vector layer, name it right hand. Go to draw shape tool and pick the color on the character. I will choose the brush stroke, which is MC Harry ink. Adjust the setting a little bit to make it looking like hand drawing brush stroke. We are going to create a hand. Draw a circle shape. Click on the shape to select all the points and press Ctrl C and Ctrl V to copy and paste. Select on the second shape and click on add to blend the shapes. Copy and paste for a couple more time till we have all fingers. Here. As you can see, the origin point is not located in the right place. Let's reset the origin points right here. Duplicate the hand layer, flip it over and group them into a group. Name it right hand group. Reset the origin point on the group again. Let's convert this group into switch. Now we can switch over the two hands to get along with your animation. Then drag it under the right arm layer. Duplicate the hand group layer and move it under the left arm layer. Change the name as left hand group. 
Now, we have everything ready to start rigging. Convert the group layer to bone and set the bones on several body parts. The same process as my previous videos. When all the bones have been set, if I go to frame 1 and play it, it's not working. Now let's start with the left arm layer. Select the layer, press Alt, and click on the eye icon to hide all other layers except this one. If I link this layer to the arm bones, it works, but not the way we want. See, there's a big gap when bending the arm. Let me unlink the bones from the layer. Now, these bones no longer affect this layer. Here's the solution to help the arms and legs bend properly. With the arm layer selected, go to draw and create a compressible curve layer. This will give us curve points in a horizontal position. Next, go to transform layer and rotate it vertically. When scaling up the size, don't do it directly. Instead, use the Add Point tool and move the points one by one. Otherwise, it may cause problems later on. Add another point in the middle. Go to frame one. If I move the points around, you can now see the arm bends naturally. Now let's bind the points to the bones. With the curve layer selected, first select the upper arm bone, then select the two points on the curve and click bind points. Next, select the lower arm bone, then select the remaining point on the curve layer and click bind points. Now when I rotate the bones, the arm bends properly. Unhide the hand group layer. If I rotate the hand bone, it goes crazy again. To fix this, open the hand group, select the first layer, then use the bind layer tool and click on the hand bone. Do the same for the second layer. Now the arm and hand can rotate and bend naturally. Let's move on to the other hand. When adding a curve layer, it's important to ensure that its strength fully covers the arm layer, like this. For example, if it doesn't cover enough, you'll notice that the arm appears cropped. Keep on and bind points to bones as we did earlier. I will do the same for both legs. I use bind layer to connect foot to the bone. For the main body, first select the main body layer, select the two bones, the core bone and the chest bone, then and click link bones. Select the head layer and connect to the head bone. You see, there are gaps when I rotate the head. Let me release this bone from layer. 
and try in a different way. With the head layer selected, go to draw and create a mesh layer. Use the add point tool to add any missing points. And remove any extra ones. Then click, hold and move to adjust the mesh for better control. Finally, link the mesh layer to the head bone. To fix the gaps, I'm using smart bones. First, let's name the head bone. Then, press Ctrl plus K to open the action panel. With the head bone selected, click New Action. Now, rotate the head to the right at frame 24. Select the mesh layer and use the magnet tool to adjust the mesh. For the same bone, create a new action again. Rotate the head to the left at frame 24, select the mesh layer, and use the magnet tool to adjust the mesh. When I rotate the chest bone, there are still some issues with the shoulders and the hip area. To fix this, let's add two more bones here, parent them to the core bone, and another two bones parented to the chest bone. Select the main body layer and press the shift key and select all of these bones and click link bones. Now all the joint in the main body parts are fixed. By the way, I've worked hard to keep this tutorial simple and easy to follow. If you have any suggestions on how I can improve, please leave a rating in the comments from 1 to 5, 1 not clear, 5 very clear. Your feedback will help me create better tutorials in the future. Thank you for your support. All right. That's it. You made it this far. You might as well hit that subscribe button. No rush. But, you know, it'd be pretty chill if you did. Catch you in the next one. Bye.